Rod Czar. Let's go. You certainly went. That's record time, Rod Czar. I think you have the ultimate fast switch fiber freak time I've ever seen. That was less than 10 seconds. I don't think anybody's ever did that. Let's go is right. Cletus, hello, sir. Og420 Jr., Dub87. Fellow Floridian Ryan McKenna. Gentlemen, Ogs are. Got there in about eight seconds. I don't know how he did it. Talik Lizzie, Justin Geese, Camden. Landon Stuber, hello, sir. How are you? The ever present Mike Paul. Road to 1000 Bench Press. Our Rats 420, Ryan Lee Drew, Pop Ace 3024. Stephen V, Spanish Fly, EVH. Big Daddy Z, Big Daddy from Toronto. How's the weather in Toronto? Curious. Lorniak from York, Pennsylvania, home of York Barbell. Strength and Health Magazine, Muscular Development. And of course, the great Bob Hoffman. Diesel Viper, sup, 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 DIY Home Repair. Daniel Baton, Ally, That Guy 6, GNCW. This is Tom. The bad review tape is currently 56% loaded. So I would expect it out Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. Although I may have somebody, a maniac coming down from out of state that may speed up the process. Good evening, New Jersey Misfits. How was your training? How was the lean mass gaining? Landon Stuber, I'm glad it's a fulfilling day. That's what you want every day, a fulfilling day. Not necessarily because you get what you wanted that day or things fell into place. That you've learned and you overcame something. Something was difficult that day. Maybe there was some type of minor or major inconvenience that you overcame to complete the activities of your day. Hello, Nathan Harrison. Spanish Fly says, let's review one of Jay's drunken lives. That's a possibility from the future. Early Color says, what can you expect from nandrolone phenylpropionate with test versus only test? You can expect greater anabolic activity, definitely more joint lubrication. And overall, you're going to get bigger and stronger. Now, it depends on your dosages, of course. Some people get great results from a high dose of test. Some people from any type of nandrolones get prolactin related side effects and such those could be reduced erectile function, excessive water retention, fatigue and sluggishness. You have to basically find out for your sweat. I believe you can use if you're doing MPP and test, I would use 400 milligrams test minimum and at least, at least half of that do half the dosage of an anabolic with your test. But in the case of NPP, which is a fast acting compound compared to DECA, which is also a nandrolone, you can increase the dosage maybe to 300 a week or Maybe you can do 400, 400. You have to try it for yourself. Hello, Rod Tsar. The fast twitch fiber world record holder. I don't know how you did that. Big Daddy says Toronto is hot. We're getting a lot of rain. That's what we're getting down here in Florida. OG420 Jr. says, Chase, seven-hour live stream is still on YouTube. S'mores, how are you, sir? Great European misfit maniac. I hope your training's going good. I hope you're overcoming obstacles. And I hope you're, a lot of people are following you in many ways. New Jersey Misfits lifts all went up this week. Sounds to me you recuperated well. That guy's six, the review of Brad's July 4th live is close to three hours long. So that's why it's taken so long. And of course, there's probably some things about my phone that I could have utilized to load it better, but 
I would say for the most part, it's going to be uploaded Wednesday as the latest Thursday, possibly a little earlier. Ryan McKenna, did I have negative sides from DECA or NPP? Um, I do see things about anxiety from both, but I never really noticed it. Usually DECA and NPP, you're making such good gains and your joints are tolerating the heavy weight that you really don't notice any anxiety. Any anxiety on any compounds in general? Not, not, not really, no, not really. Sluggishness, yes. Uh, water retention, oh yes. However, anxiety from that, no. Jake McGuire wants to wish the maniacs and fellow freaks of Delray a hello. Thank you, sir. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch wanted a reaction to Dale's live recording. I guess that's at the air show. Will do, Cheese. Wow, Joker 98 says, Bart hates to admit he has a drinking and smoking problem. Well, if you control it, technically you don't have a problem. But I think drinking in itself is a problem. And I've distanced myself away from it. And to tell you the truth, the times I dabbled in alcohol, 99% of them will always be if there's girls around, particularly tans. And I'm sharing a drink with them or what have you, and being around them. But I choose to remove myself from those type of places simply because of that fact. One thing is for certain, you will never, ever, ever see me doing anything like that by myself. It's just, it's just not me. However, for me, I believe even if I went out and drank, say, once every three months, to me, that's excessive. Is alcohol a poison? Is a poison. Terrible Coughing says, was my dad a pro wrestling fan? Yes, growing up, of course he was. The 50s and 60s wrestlers, his favorites he spoke of were uh, Nature Boy Buddy Rogers, uh, Captain Lou Albano. He was a member of the uh, Sicilians. It was a mafia gimmick tag team. A Waldo Von Erich, Bruno San Martino, and of course, we watched wrestling in the early mid seventies. We went it was WWE, and our favorites were obviously Bruno San Martino, who was probably an idol of my father. As Bruno is a great idol for many people back then. Now, Bruno was a very clean living, married family man, and although I believe he used some Dianabol early in his career, especially with powerlifting, I believe he stopped it and trained naturally, and most of his fresh professional career, he was naturally maintained it. So he was eating in his tough workouts, but he was also a good Catholic, very uh, hard-nosed, old-fashioned, tough guy that just didn't get involved with the substance abusers. And then he started, my father started watching again in the mid-80s, we were WWF fans. He liked uh, the Iron Sheik, Volkov, Ventura. He never really cared for the baby faces. Maybe he, he liked Junkyard Dog for some strange reason, but he did latch on to world-class wrestling once they started televising that in the Pittsburgh area, which came immediately after the first WrestleMania, which luckily for us, that was broadcast locally a week later as the closed circuit broadcast at the Civic Arena of WrestleMania 1 malfunctioned and the local station in conjunction with the WWF at the time decided to put a week later the whole WrestleMania on local TV which we were thrilled as kids you know because my father wasn't about to go out and go to a pay-per-view but 
We did attend about four or five WWE matches during my high school years. And then my father obviously caught on to when he was off, he would work every other weekend and every other Saturday. He would watch NWA wrestling at noon. And we never had Superstation TBS. We never had cable with my father, which unfortunately would have allowed us to see the Road Warriors in AWA at the time. But AWA came on you know, the network, the local network, after the Road Warriors left to Japan and NWA. Hello, Jake McGuire. Kevin Spivak, Jason's maybe not in the best of shape from what I've heard, but he's living with his mother and w working at Publix, which is a good job. Yes, Greg Pettis, Mike Menser is very knowledgeable. Just listening to his philosophy doesn't mean you have to follow it verbatim, but you got to remember what he's stressing. He's stressing recuperation and he's stressing intensity. And although I'm, I don't agree with his atheist beliefs, I certainly agree with his common sense approach to life in general, which is sadly, sadly needed these days. Ryan McKenna, I don't think you need a caber goal lane with DECA or a uh, Premi Pexol until you really notice the side effects. And just because they say using it. I'm a big believer, especially in the off season when you want to grow, is to stay away from the anti-estrogens as much as you can. You don't need it and they're kind of productive as well as Kebergolin can be with the DECA. Irish Tommy's proposes a 300 milligram test, 200 milligram nandrolone phenylpropionate per week. I think that's a good stack, try it out. That's definitely your second level stack after a beginner stack. Uh, give it a go, especially those that have done tests before, maybe just some D-ball, and want to step it up a little bit. Juan RTs, I'm definitely going to work out, train with Dale. I hate to work out. We're going to pump some iron, break down some fibers with Dale, that's for sure. Chief Stogie, where's the gym content with the prints? It'll be coming soon. It's just a matter of me reaching out to him as i got a lot of projects going on here. And meshing with him, and of course, according to his schedule, too. So, Chuck E. Cheese Ranch said Dale posted live from Flight Show calling Lenny out. Well, in this case, when the cheese says somebody's talking about me, I believe it. Uh, I'll make sure I take a look at that cheese. Wild Joker 98 says Taco Queen probably put Brad in timeout. God only knows. And remember, I'm having second thoughts of deleting that reaction video to Brad's July 4th Live. It hits hard. It goes in depth. It is true, but I'm just thinking that over. It's in the back of my mind. Thank you, Papa Ace. 3024. Thank you very much, sir. And he remembers when Jay smoked Crybaby Kush in Vegas. Yes, I remember it too. And then obviously not taking my lead and staying in a nice cool hotel room until we went to train to smoke some dope and then go to the Hoover Dam. Uh-uh, not me. Ryan George asks, was Brad being cheeky in his live? Cheeky and leaky. Daniel Bateman says, how many milligrams should you do of GABA on a daily basis? Daniel, I have utilized GABA, and it was for the purpose of replenishing my dopamine levels. Now, I can't say I noticed anything significant, and I do not remember the milligram dosage that I used, because that experiment was probably a year and a half ago. As you know, I had to cut down my supplement intake, not only for experimentation purposes, but from budget purposes. And GABA is not in the budget right now, but do your research on it. 
I don't think I was taking an excessive amount, but I just don't remember the exact milligram dosage on that, Daniel. Thoughts, road to a thousand bench presses. Thoughts on taking creatine while cutting. I believe creatine is useful, but it's not mandatory. I believe you should be getting all your creatine through natural sources, such as beef. With that said, road to a thousand bench press. It's not going to hurt taking extra creatine. It'll definitely help. Now, how much everything helps? I say a few percentage points. Because if you're eating enough meat, you're getting enough protein, you're getting enough carnitine, you're getting enough creatine, you're getting enough carnosine, you're getting zinc from that. All the nutrients you need are in that beef. However, creatine is basically going to help you increase your adenine triphosphate levels in the muscle, which helps during set to set recuperation. It'll help replenish those ATP levels between sets to keep the strength high. So definitely something you can use when cutting. I think the caloric amount of supplemental creatine is very low. That's not going to throw off your calorie burning, which in turn is fat burning. So it's definitely not necessary, but it will help a bit when cutting. Just remember this when cutting. Your best thing is to take, obviously, some testosterone. Maybe if you can add some equipoise to that or some trend. Or if you're totally natural, the main thing is getting your meals in, balanced meals, with a certain ratio of proteins, carbs, and fats. And obviously, have meat and eggs, the number one and two punch in that intake of dietary protein as well as many other factors and when you're cutting my biggest uh, recommendation which is what I did every time I cut was to remove the dairy products and that'll show a big difference James says he's rowing 120 pound dumbbells for a few sets of six to eight is that freakish yes I think it is because if you're failing at six to eight and your form is good you break it down fibers. Yes, it is, James. It's not so much how heavy you are, it's how freakish are you getting. Ryan McKenna, how about this? Get a couple bottles of DECA and MPP each. Start the cycle with MPP so it gets in there quickly. Then, a few days later, after your first shot of MPP, take your DECA. That way, it's probably going to get in there in about two weeks. But the NPP is going to get in there much faster. And the sides aren't, shouldn't be that bad on DECA. The sides should be fantastic. But initially, the best thing to do is do like a Monday, Thursday type injection schedule with all PEDs. If you're taking medium-acting, longer-acting compounds such as Tess and Anthate and regular DECA, you could get by with twice-a-week injections, but it's still superior to do twice, I'm sorry, once-a-week injections if you're doing a medium or longer-lasting test or DECA. However, if you're doing the NPP and test, do the NPP first day, then do the Thursday, start the DECA, and keep injecting the NPP for two more weeks and then stop because you'll still be injecting the DECA and it'll get in there quickly. And of course, do that the next cycle you do that. Save that MPP for a later cycle. Twice a week is best. Make sure you take tests with it. Kenny Chow for music being a freak is a good thing. First, let's define freaks. Let's define freaks. What is a freak? Some freak is a total opposite of a cookie cutter. A freak is when someone sees them, whenever in whatever manner it can be, as a football player, as a construction worker, as a soldier. That is someone that's the top of their game and beyond. So it's always a good thing. Fell plays 2.0. I swear is the biggest eater I've ever seen in my life. Currently consuming an extra-large pizza with extra meat and cheese. 
two pounds of pasta, half a pound of butter, one pound of flank steak, gallon of whole milk, two liters of apple juice, four liters of coke, ah, 12 kegs, 12 eggs and cheesecake factory. I'm assuming that's a cheesecake. Fell plays, how's your insulin resistance on that? That's even not nearly as much as I used to eat in my 400 pound days, but you gotta be tough on your digestive system. Wrote a thousand pound bench press has thoughts on taking amino pills. They're not gonna hurt, they're gonna help, but it's gonna be a few percentage points at best. So they're not gonna make up for missing a meal whatsoever. Uh, a few percentage points at best. You have to decide if that money is worth spending it. Would I still recommend glycine? Not necessarily. Early Color has some good advice for Ryan McKenna, my Florida freak. The phenylpropionate ester should be pinned at least three times a week. He would pin every every other day personally. Thank you, Early Kyler. However, Ryan, I would obviously take the recommendation of Early Kyler, but pin that three times a week, say the first two to three weeks of your cycle, and then pin the deck, of course, from week one of your cycle. That way you'll be covered and you'll get a nice kickstart to that cycle. Thank you, Early Kyler. And Chuck E. Cheese Ranch points out, which is what I would reiterate, deck is much cheaper. Titrate off slowly and get back if emotions get the best of you. I've never uh, experienced emotional problems, but I think a lot of times when, and this is true, when I look at some uh, anecdotal cases of people going on cycles, that if they mention they have something, then you start thinking in the back of your mind, hmm, did I have that? Did I have that? And you might admit that, yeah, I might have had that. I think it's best sometimes not to know too much, but you got to know something about it. Yes and no says alcohol is catabolic. Not good. It's one of the worst of the worst. The worst of the worst. Flat pad, a good pound, compound for better energy is a moderate dose of testosterone, anywhere from 200 to 500 milligrams a week. Oxcars S says, how can I donate to you? Um, I think there's something on here. This YouTube live you can donate to. Big Daddy, how's the Panther? She's Panther's doing great. She seems to want to be outside more in this heat. Although she will sit in the shade. She's doing great. Getting very big, very strong. Although we got to take it to our neighbor and see if she could trim it trimmer for us. She, this is a girl that used to do cat grooming. Greg Pettis has never trust a man who doesn't drink. <laughs> well, Joker 98 says, why doesn't Brad like a tan 10 10? He does. He just is insecure of himself. It's all the peer pressure and the propaganda. Yes, MC, Tony MC, I am doing well. And I couldn't be any better than on a Sunday night live with the Maniac Army. Sean E says, never trust a man who doesn't have a dark side. Yes, sir, and we all have a dark side, that's for sure, all of us. Mike Paul says his lifts went up tremendously after he stopped drinking. I realized how much damage it was doing. Another incredibly incredibly good reason to stop please yes yeah, so and no i'm wondering why these lives obviously i'm not on the 4k that where i was on when i'm not doing lives it's not showing up as pixels now but i saw the live last night i don't understand why maybe it's because i'm still loading the brad fourth of july reaction i don't know but i'm gonna find that out thank you for pointing that up Who's they? Welcome to the Big Lenny Live. Josh Rumbin from Cape Town, South Africa. How's the heat down there? 
Who's they? So there's good old fashioned wrestling on Tubi TV. Always good to see nostalgia in any type of sport. It's good to see clean cut people in the audience too. Wild Joker 98 says Brad's looking like the million dollar man with the cheeks and smile. And yes, the beard. He should get that little outfit. Max Z says, according to Brad, I can go anytime to his house, but I choose not to. That's always, Brad has a tendency to deflect, and he's all about damage control. And that's the biggest thing I want to bring out to him in his therapy, which is the only reason I do his reactions to his lives is therapy. He is too much into damage control. At Meany 40, if you want to take a great substance originally developed for Russian cosmonauts to increase in relaxation and confidence and memory retention, as well as basically increasing your intellectual capacity, welcome to the world of Fenabut. Now, the best fan about I know is by lift mode and tell them Big Lenny sent you when you order it. But what I would recommend for anyone taking Fenabut for the first time, and there's various forms of it, Fenabut hydrochloride, Fenabut free amino acid. I've taken a liking to the Fenabut free amino acid. What you want to do is take a teaspoon and you want to have it by your bed, maybe in your bathroom by your bed with some water close by. When you get up in the middle of the night to pee, Maybe the second time, which is closer to when you're getting up. Say, around, say if you get up around 8, if you usually get up around 4 or 5 to pee, that's probably the last time you do it. Take a half a teaspoon measured out, a half a teaspoon. Put it in your mouth under your tongue. Let it dissolve as much as it possibly can. Then slowly fill your mouth with water and drink the remaining fenobut. Then rinse it out again. You don't want any fenobut residue sitting in your mouth it's going to be very acidic. Make sure all that's swallowed. Go back to bed. It'll help you relax and go back to bed. But when you wake up, you will wake up feeling refreshed and you'll have that nice buzz going. DIY specialist. My uncles, I never had known them to drink alcohol. My father went, well, this was, I was a kid. He drank beer at holiday dinners up until 1974. And remember, I was born in 1970, so I vaguely remember him doing that for like a year or two. And all of a sudden it stopped. And he's never drank a sip of alcohol again. And he was 28 years old when he stopped. So he has been alcohol free for 50 years close to 50 years and probably the smartest decision he ever made. And he even agreed to get off the booze maniacs. Who's they says two sets seems low. Two sets. If you're training correctly, you shouldn't be able to do a third set with any type of mustering of strength. If you did that, those two sets were not executed properly. As OG420 Jr. points out, it's two sets of hell. And I don't think any of us, even myself, approach that. But another set, what's it going to add? It's going to cut into your recuperation ability. And if it's not a 100% set, you're pretty much wasting your time. Thick Cut Ohio, I guess it's because the, uh, you know, so... I'm going to get to the bottom of that, though. As OG420 Jr. points out again, the first two sets are most productive and crucial to growth. Thank you, OG420 Jr. Now, all of you, keep that in your head. And some of you know that, but can't be stressed enough. The first two sets are the most productive and crucial to growth. Remember that. Block everyone out in the gym. I don't care if you yell, scream, snot's coming out of your nose. 
you approach those sets like an animal. And a little tip for me is think of yourself as getting 30 reps. Concentrate on the form you're going to use. And they say the first four or five, blow them right up. But once you start feeling that tension where your muscles want to quit, plow through it, plow through it, plow through it. You can get through it. Plow through it no matter what. No matter what. As well as other truths are, you got to get eight hours REM sleep a night. you got to eat at least four meals a day, preferably more. you got to have meat and eggs every day along with the fruits and vegetables, the carbs, milk if you can drink it, lactose free if you can't. This is when you're gaining. You must stay hydrated. And stay off the substances that are gonna weaken you. And those substances are painkillers, alcohol, cocaine. Cocaine may give you some immediate strength, but in the long haul you feel washed out you know what to lift. Dan San Fernando, I, I might have looked good, but I need to look like a freak. Who's they? Stack 600 milligrams of caffeine. That is not a long-term solution for anything. That's counterproductive, who's they? And your blood vessels are getting so constricted, your pumps are probably very very piss poor. That guy six, do I believe in back off sets? No. Warm up sets, feel sets, hit the heavy stuff, the tension stuff to failure, and you're done. Anything else is pretty much pointless at that time. If your goal is the best increases in muscle size. Ryan K Productions, hello, sir. Hobby Secret says my stomach is full of fluid. It is. My muscle mass is gone. Some. You can understand why I wouldn't train next to Jay. What are you talking about? <laughs> Billy Best for Prez. I never watch Dead City. Go into more detail, please. Delusional and rationalizing, yes, for bulking, health, nutrient-dense foods, lactose-free milk, for those that need it to digest it is invaluable. Who's they says, why does Brad think what he has is so desirable? That's the reason I'm doing these reaction videos. We're trying to pinpoint that because it seems to me that Brad's frustration of how people can be happy that don't have a, the big man or their own weight room, their younger brunette, their pension job, access to a food truck, a live band, fireworks, and etc. And he just has to realize that that's not life at all. Life is thinking for yourself, doing your life's work and doing what you're supposed to do which is love everyone on earth, as well as set the example. That guy six is, why don't I give Brad a call and talk my differences out? That guy six, I think I'm going to do that. I don't want to disappoint any maniacs, but there's still a chance I may delete that reaction video. This is Tom says, Brad needs this wake up call. <laughs> Thick cut Ohio is going to the Hoover Dam. Do yourself a favor, Thick Cut Ohio. Get online and get a nice documentary and a virtual tour of the Hoover Dam. You'll thank me later. You'll actually learn more and see more than you will by attending it, that's for sure. And although you probably get some good vitamin D in that sun, you'll get awfully dehydrated. Thank you, RPZZZ. Says, why don't I go over and teach that mailman some respect? I believe I'm doing that with the reaction videos. I really do. Mr. Good Guy 2019 says, not too low. It's called low volume for a reason. Wild Joker 98 states Brad doesn't call the shots, and I seem to agree with that. 
Cosmic Nomad 93 says I need to take more supplements. Um, well, I'm taking vitamin C twice a day, 1,000 milligrams, twice a day. I'm taking a multivitamin once a day. Vitamin 3, three 5,000 I use once in the morning. I take zinc 50 milligrams twice a day. Copper 3 micrograms twice a day, or it could be milligrams. It's either micrograms or milligrams on the copper. I'm taking a high potency B complex once a day. I'm taking two fish oil gels once a day. I take magnesium, 200 milligrams twice a day of magnesium glycinate. And I take a vitamin B6 at night, which I may stop once it runs out. And I believe that's it. So if you could give me some other supplements, I should be taking Cosmic Nomad 93. I would greatly appreciate that, sir. Ryan K. Productions says Sustanon is more fun than Test CRE. Go into detail on that, Ryan K. Productions. Is Brad the coolest guy in lots of Hatchy? I don't, I don't go by the term cool. That's cookie cutter. Wild Joker 898 says Brad's needs to be on the Big Lenny Live. Diesel Viper says, do you not have Wi-Fi where you live? I'm sure I do, but as Cosmic Notepad has the answer right after, I probably don't understand how to connect my phone to the Wi-Fi. But I'm going to do some research on that. Penny Larson says, how do you achieve your goal of not having a neck? Heavy deadlifts, rack deadlifts, high calories, bulking diet, testosterone, die in a ball, heavy shrugs, heavy front network, putting a towel on the forehead and lifting weights or a barbell with a pad, and having a head strap, you work the rear neck. I'm not so much into side to side necks or neck machines. I've never had access to a neck machine. I've would like to try one, but if you use a neck machine, be very careful with it. I've heard people getting serious problems using a neck, a neck machine. Dan St. Fernando, whatever, join a plan is fitness for the pizzas again. Well, that pizza thing in Delray Beach just doesn't work. You can imagine the type of people are in there. Remember, it's Delray. And that pizza's gone. You got people coming in and that's a bad idea. I don't even know if they do it there anymore, but Delray's not the place to do that. And with Crunch Fitness, there's really no need for Planet Fitness. I just don't like the total concept, the beliefs of it, and the equipment is really not that good. Ryan McKenna is going to bulk up the 275 pounds in the strongman class for a competition later in this year. If he makes it to the podium, he's going to qualify for the Nationals next June in Denver. You're doing the Misfit Maniac Universe proud, Ryan. Make sure you DM me some pictures of you along the way on my Instagram. Thanks for bringing that up, Ryan. Nothing like competitiveness. McGoon's Eyes asks my thoughts on Hulk Hogan's top five wrestlers of all time. Ric Flair, Andre himself, Macho Man, and Rowdy Piper. Um, I would definitely agree with that. Would I add or subtract any Bun's names? Um, uh, good question. Probably wouldn't. Hulk Hogan is a man of great wisdom. He may act a little loopy at times, but there's some brains in that head of his. I'll tell you what. Cosmic Nomad says, do I feel like my lives are boring? Boring is not a word to use. That's a cookie cutter, coward word. And Brad's use of it will be stopped in all air of his life. That is what the spoiled brat would say back in the day. Of course, other, others may say it's boring and that's their right to say it. But you can bet those people are mostly entertained by pop culture and things like South, uh, South Park, which I never watched and I never will. 
Who's they, says Brad, spends $65 a ticket for the Laugh Factory. You know, the common denominator for most Brad's activities are this. He may look at the brochures and the Postal Service Credit Union, but the bottom line is all his activities have one thing in common, alcohol. He failed to mention that the fireworks display in a lot in Loxahatchee not only has a live band and a food truck, there's alcohol available. Alcohol at the plush pony, alcohol at the local dive bars, alcohol at the comedy clubs. When there's alcohol and there's a cookie cutter activity, there's Brad. Have you ever been to Lake Okeechobee? I think I drove past it. I'm not really sure. Vegan Blows host says, what do you recommend for Brad and his bloating? Abstaining from alcohol. I at least told him to do it for a month. Who's they says, so drinks and dinner comedy club cost Brad $200 or more. It could cost him more than that. Thank you, Real Delmar. Andrew says he do powerhouse videos, but I'm too lazy to meet him halfway. He didn't say that. If he did, send the clip to my Delray Misfits Instagram. But thank you, I know you're real, Delmar. Are squats good for legs? Asked delusional and rationalizing. If you can do them correctly. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't have the flexibility or the body mechanics to squat correctly. My father had me squatting with a bar for months, and I was so frustrated when I was a 13-year-old, but he wanted to make sure I was squatting correctly. And he was, and you're talking, when you're looking at late 70s, early 80s, a lot of bodybuilders, and that was a staple in many of these gyms, squatted on a two-by-four, which is probably very bad for your knees. So, and even athletes were using a two-by-four. He had the insight to say, no, you're going to work on your flexibility to where you don't need a two by four. Ryan McKenna says, due to his bulking up, he had to bring his AirSense 10 auto pressure CPAP out of storage. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that too. When I dieted, I didn't need it, but when you are bulking, you're going to need it. Good thing you have it as automatic and you're going to get used to it, Ryan. You're going to get used to it. Just make sure you lay on your back, breathe through your nose, which you'd always should be uh, breathing through your nose anyway. I make it a point to breathe through my nose more than ever now because I was educated on that. Who's they? Says Brad drops about four grand a month. Yes, he probably does. Josh K, what's my favorite home-cooked meal that my mother makes? She doesn't cook for me. But one of her meals that she's cooked for me years ago was definitely stuffed cabbage to where the ground meat, the rice is with tomato sauce rolled into a cabbage roll. Very good, very good for bulking. Delusional and rationalizing says, is sleep good? Sleep is life itself delusional and rationalizing. You can't live good unless you sleep good. And there's research on sleeping good. And I'll give you the basics really quick. Make sure your room is cool and dark. Make sure there's no noise. Do not have any TVs on while you're sleeping. And you can have a device. Don't put it too close to you, but you can have like a lecture going on a uh, topic on the internet. Just listen to it. Don't look at the screen. Make sure you have a little ice water and a bathroom next to your bed or in the restroom. And relax. Say a little prayer at night and relax.
Larry McKenna, I wasn't aware of the extent of your sensitivity to the 19 nor compounds. That looks good, Ryan. A 600 milligram test a week and a 300 milligram NPP. Quit CNA. I'm going to hug a shout out Amanda, hug and kiss once again, but I don't mind doing it. Vegan blowho. If you're drinking alcohol probably more than once a week, you have an alcohol problem because you're drinking poison. Ryan McKenna, to get to that 275 pound weight class, is having a tall glass of whole milk, a giant bowl of ground beef, meat, chili, two cups of cottage cheese, and a protein shake before bed. That's a lot of protein. Epic Id 94 says, how do I push myself? He's trying to keep up dieting and he joined a jujitsu gym. Stop the dieting, number one. If dieting means you're cutting calories, cutting carbs in an effort to get ripped, do not do that, Epic Kid 94. Jiu-Jitsu is excellent, but you must incorporate it with your heavy weight resistance training. Push yourself harder by going more intense. When you hit a wall, look at your eating and sleeping. But keep the jujitsu, Epic Id, mm -hmm. and do not diet if that's what you're thinking of. If you're talking about a diet with four to six whole meals a day, plenty of proteins, fats, and calories in the proper manner, natural whole based foods, two of those meals, at least with 10 or more whole eggs or a pound or more beef, or the ground beef roast or steaks potatoes, rice, pasta, side dishes, fruits and vegetables, milk if you can drink it, lactose free if you can't, and plenty of water. That's what I'm hoping you're talk about when you diet. If you start cutting calories and carbs, you will lose performance in every way, shape or possible. Jay, I hope this positive information is penetrating parts of your brain cells while studying. <clears throat> Hello, Tony's back. Tony uploaded a few videos the past couple of weeks ago. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch says, Deca is way better than trend for mental effects. No sleep issues other than night sweats, but sleep through it and wake up refreshed on a sweaty pillow. That is true, cheese. There's some effects you're going to have. And don't worry about it. Probably going to do a live at the Walmart this week. Ryan McKenna wants to thank Chuck E. Cheese Ranch for his advice and guidance. No, the lives of me out and about interacting are definitely not done. Cheese, I take a teaspoon right before I, the last time I pee with some water before I get up, a free amino acid fenobut. I would definitely go to Thailand with Tony Huge. Well, Joker eight, Joker ninety eight is spilling some very good advice here. Brad should go to rehab and have a talk with Leslie about his addiction on RX muscle. Well, maniacs, I'm going to have some leftover bottom round roast some rice and a salad. I hope you're doing the same with your meeting, eating, meeting, and sleeping. And for meeting, meeting fellow humanity and interacting. 
And remember, with the girls, you see a girl you like, and make sure you're taking care of your teeth. Thanks once again. All of you get some good REM sleep. Have a good night.